Okay, I would like to make one simple change to this just to show you uh, some of the power of this uh, type of uh, technique. Uh, and that is, I'm going to go into my document write command. So this is the same exact code that we had up before. And I'm going to insert inside the quotes an HTML tag. Okay, I'm going to insert a header tag here. I'm going to insert the H3 tag. This is my first line of JavaScript. And then at the end of that sentence, but before the double quotes, I'm going to close off that head tag. So I'll put a slash H3 here. So again, what you see is document.write in quotes, or left parenthesis quotes, H3. This is my first line of JavaScript web page. And then closing that tag off inside the double quotes. It's very, very important that you do that. Okay, I'm going to save this as, and I'm going to save this as JS01A, because it's basically the same script. I'm just doing it with a little bit of a modification here in terms of the HTML that's going to actually produce. So I'm going to hit save. Okay, and I'm going to minimize this. And there's JS01A. HTM. I'm going to bring this up into Internet Explorer, and you'll see here that that tag, that, that header tag, actually is also executed inside that string that we used um, as an attribute into that uh, JavaScript uh, command or JavaScript function. So you may want to experiment with a couple of different tags and see, or HTML tags, and see how they are written out into a web page uh, when you are working with JavaScript. I'm going to minimize that, and then I'm going to continue opening that web page here, uh, HTML page. So I'd like to tell you is that the um, script, uh, JavaScript that we've written, okay, is placed in between the head tags here. So there are two basic places that you're going to be putting your JavaScripts. One is between the head tags of your document, and the other place is actually uh, at some point in the body of your document. And that's done in several different ways, as you'll see. But here, the page, as it's being um, executed or interpreted here in the browser, um, will actually execute the JavaScript if you ask it to. So when the web page is being written, it actually writes out this information directly into the web page. So instead of enclosing it in the body, it actually becomes part of the body of HTML that's actually displayed in the browser. So again, one of the ways that you can write HTML is directly between your head tags using JavaScript. This becomes important not for writing text to general web pages, because you can do that just as well between the body tags, but it becomes much more important when you actually open up JavaScript windows and write information into those.